Hi, I'm Mark Ziff from Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss a fabulous example of Anna Pottery that we'll be selling in our March 1st auction. As you can see, it's a temperance jug, uh, often called a temperance jug because they reference the evils of alcohol. Uh, they have snakes covering them. These, these sorts of jugs were made somewhere between the early 1860s and the 1880s, and um, they're considered one of the Anna Pottery's very best forms. Um, but they have snakes writhing around them, figures on them, um, and they were supposed to reference the, the evils of alcohol, whether they're really saying alcohol was bad or whether they were just sort of commenting on the movement, we won't exactly know for sure. Um, there's a number of these jugs known, and this one happens to be one of the earliest in existence. Uh, most have a central figure, like this one, uh, being devoured by a snake. These added snakes on the arms, and this one has a little bit of repair and damage from a long time ago. Uh, the, these added snakes are a little bit unusual. We have this horrified figure with a beard, possibly Abraham Lincoln. Um, we don't know for sure. Uh, being plunged into the body of the vessel. And that, that central image you see on a number of their jugs. However, this, this example has a lot of characteristics that makes it very special. Um, and one of them is this Civil War figure here. There's very few examples of Anna Pottery known with a Civil War figure on them. There's a few um, other temperance jugs. This one in particular actually relates to possibly the best Anna temperance jug known that was previously owned by Barry Cohen um, that was made for a Civil War barroom brawl um, in 1862. And we have this, this great Civil War figure with his, his uh, kepi on and you can see um, just how great these guys were at modeling, at hand modeling things. He has a goatee, he has kind of a scared look on his face. Uh, this figure on the front, you can actually see his teeth. So just great at modeling. I mean, nobody could model things as well as they could. Um, below him is an American eagle, and this is the only example of Anna Pottery I've seen with this molded eagle design on it. You can see it's an eagle devouring a, a rabbit that it's caught. and the eagle's in brown and white paint. Um, and the rest of the surface, over the salt glaze, has original polychrome paint. Blue on the troops, or the troop here for, um, of course, Union. The Union, and um, down at the center, we have an unusual molded figure. I've never seen this design before on, on a piece of Anna Pottery, either. It's a typical barroom uh, kind of figure, smoking a pipe and drinking a beer. And we have this on this side. This is fantastic. This, um, this great representation of an African-American man's head with a goatee, a molded design that's applied, just like these two other designs. And the surface of that figure's head is cold painted, it assumes kind of a comical um, comical visage, and uh, if you look at the nose, the nose is actually hollowed all the way through. And it's interesting to think, you know, you have the Civil War soldier here, and you have an American eagle here, and you have an African American figure here, if they weren't saying something about the different sides of the Civil War. Whether this is a, a Union reference and this might be a Southern reference, we never will know for sure. The figure being uh, sucked into the body of the jug here is John L. Patterson. It says John L. Patterson going in. And this classical figure is the same figure that you'll see on the other 1862 uh, barroom brawl jug that I mentioned with Civil War band members on it. Um, it has these great free swinging chain links at the spout, exceptionally rare. Um, I've never seen this on another Anna Temperance jug before. A snapping turtle over here. Uh, the signature on the bottom, which is virtually identical to the signature um, on the, uh, the Civil War band jug that I was referring to, from Kirkpatrick, Anna Pottery, Anna Union County Hills. And of course, it's a very old uh, reference uh, signature.